Welcome back, everybody, to some more P5R. I'm your host, the Musical Gamer, and when I say more P5R, I mean the end. We've once again, if you remember my playthrough from three years ago, have reached the end of our journey. The only things we have left to do are just revisit all of our confidants, our friends, everybody who's helped us and supported us on this journey. And in a way, this video is my way of checking with all of you, my own confidants. God, that was cheesy. <laughs> but that is, uh, honestly, it's how I kind of feel a little bit. But anyway, let's just get this show started with good old Gremlin Futaba. Good news. Kana-chan passed her high school entrance exam. She sent me a message this morning. I told her I was getting into high school too, and she says we can make our student debuts together. Hey, that's good news. So, you know that promise in the book? The one about going to school? This means, like, I did it, right? That it does. I'll think about a reward at some point. Mm, sounds good to me. And I've got something else to look forward to. It had better be good. Don't let me down. Honestly, though, the idea of not having Sojiro or everyone else around is the scariest part. But I know I can't stay in my room forever. And that's way more important. I feel like I've been getting more curious every day. I want to see and learn so much stuff. So I want you to have this. It's proof I'm moving on. And we get the promise list. The very same promise list. As I only changed this much thanks to the notebook. And you, of course. If you ever feel lonely, just look at this notebook and remember that I've got your back. Okay? You got it, Futaba. Thank you, Oracle. Oh, man, just, just thinking about revisiting these people again is... Oh, it's giving me chills. Just a little bit. Coffee Dad. Saying goodbye to me. I'll cut it out. You're gonna see me tomorrow. Coffee Dad, you've always been there with a cup of coffee, a plate of curry, and a witty comment. Oh man, I'm gonna miss you. Just remember to pack once you get back, you hear? I don't want you forgetting anything important here. Alright, we'll do. That reminds me. Maybe I should give Sojuro my probation diary. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, let's hand it over. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. Technically, you're the one who was supposed to be keeping track of this, weren't you? The diary of the Phantom Thieves' leader, huh? Probably gonna be worth a lot someday. Thanks, though. I'll keep it safe. Well, we've all been through a lot, but it seems like everything's changed for the better. Try to behave yourself back home, would you? <laughs> Not like you ever listened to me, anyway. Yeah, hey, listen to you where it counts, right? I can make a mean roast. The recipe notes. Here. I want you to have these. I've got them memorized already. With that stuff, you can make the same... Well, no, that'd be a waste. Put your own spin on the flavor. Develop it. Make it yours. Come on, you should get going. Still got things to do, right? That I do, Coffee Dad, but thank you. I'll make sure to keep these roasts going. In your name, my friend. All right, let's keep moving. We still got more people to meet and more people to see. Speaking of which, uh, hello there, Madam Prosecutor. You look like you're doing well. That I am, you too. I decided to stop by after work. I used to come by this area on occasion. I was always a fan of LeBlanc's coffee. It's tomorrow, right? The day you go home? Yes, it is. <laughs> Still trying to uh, catch me? <laughs> right, I'm taking you in. On the record, you've been cleared of all the crimes you were accused of. Unfortunately, the stigmas that came with them are a little harder to simply wipe away. It's true, but you know what? I like to think of it as playing life on hard mode. You know, I'll be fine. You might find that even now, sometimes it'll feel like the whole world's against you. So, just in case, take this. Oh? Oh, business card. Whenever you need help, I'll be on your side. Remember that. Hey, nice. We got our own Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney on our team. I'll be doing my part to bring some real justice to our legal system. Can't rely on the Phantom Thieves forever. That you can't. All right, Sai. Well, good luck to you. I got a date with a doctor in just a minute, so let's go. Uh, let's go on over and see. Uh, good old Tai Takemi. How you doing there, Doc? Well, actually, who are, you? who are you? Oh, did you come for an examination with Doctor Takemi as well? She's such a good doctor. Pain in my foot has gone down so much since I started taking her medication recently. Now I can even go on walks. Every day has been so enjoyable. Aw, look at you! 
You're building up clientele. Oh, hey. You're going home tomorrow, right? Then let me give you an update. So, about Miwa-chan. Her symptoms started fading pretty soon after administering the new medicine. Hey, that's that's great. <laughs> you could see her smile now. Yeah, I can't wait. It's all thanks to you. Thank you for supporting me through it all. Hey, anytime. Same goes for the situation with Oyamata. You did everything you could to help me with it. I don't know where all that devotion comes from. Maybe I should take a cue from you. Here, I want you to have this. Uh, hey, a dog tag. You saved Miwa-chan. It's only fair that you get to meet her someday. Let's see. Once Miwa-chan's all better, maybe the both of us could take a trip to visit you. <laughs> Keep your health in check. I want you there to welcome us with a smile, okay? Yeah, well, I will do just that. You know, from the very beginning, a lot of people complain about Takemi's uh, new voice actress for Royal compared to the original. I gotta say, personally, I don't mind it. I think it gives her a little bit more air of youth to uh, to the character, which I think was missing. The original was definitely more gruff, but I think the youth kind of fits her a little bit better. She's supposed to be young, right? Just basically almost out of college, essentially. And a general practitioner. I don't know. That's just my opinion. But anyway, we got some more people to meet up with. Like, uh, I think good old Art Boy. Yep, there he is. Yusuke, my friend. Hello. Oh, that's right. You'll be departing tomorrow. That I am. It's sad to see this as a season of farewells, but I didn't expect we'd all go our separate ways. Yeah, we all are. You're the only one kind of sticking around, aren't you? Yeah, it was one hell of a year, for sure. <laughs> that's putting it mildly. This time last year, I'd never have imagined I'd meet you all, leave my home, or become a phantom thief. Do you remember the painting I submitted to that competition? Desire and hope it was. Yeah, I remember. Well, I would like to bestow it upon you as a parting gift. Oh? Really? Desire and hope. As of now, my canvas is still blank. It's not for lack of inspiration. There's so much I want to express, I can barely contain my passion. But my heart has not led me astray yet. I'll paint as it guides me. Yeah, you do that. And honestly, I think that suits you. Even should I scar my work with doubt, hesitation, chaos. Certainly, that's a beauty all its own. Your life is no worse for its own scars. Your truest beauty lies in them. And I hope you tell me their story someday. Yeah, we'll keep in touch, my friend. Don't worry. I'll make sure you've got the uh, front row seat. Right. All right, let's head on over into the... No, that's Central Street. Uh, no, we want to go to the Underground Mall. Yes, there we go. Because we've got a friend over here we need to see. Hello there, Lady Anne. Oh, did you come here for souvenirs? This place has everything. I'm busy getting ready for my study abroad, too. Gotta research schools, places to live. But we're all splitting off to do our own thing, huh? Honestly, it's not really hitting me yet. Yeah, we, we really are all going our separate ways. Which is new, if you guys didn't notice. If you haven't played the original, this doesn't happen in Vanilla P5. This only happens in Royal. Yeah. We'll see each other again. Count on it. Yeah, totally. It's not like we're all leaving forever. I mean, we still have the group chat. I'll still be messaging you all. And you gotta respond. By the way, um... A little girl stopped me the other day in Shibuya. She said she saw me in magazines. And that she wants to be just like me when she grows up. It felt incredible. Oh, right. Vague did a special piece on me in this month's issue. Oh, fashion magazine. I said it all in the interview, but... I'm gonna work hard. One day, I'll be modeling across the world. I've gotta reach people. I wanna give someone hope. Like you did for me. Thank you for all you've done. The days I spent with you were some of the brightest in my life. Oh, I could say the same on. I'm a star, I'm gonna shine even brighter though. So you watch out for me. I will. I'll make sure to pin your poster up on the wall. Um, not not saying that in a lewd way, of course. Just did. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Uh, let us go straight to Central Street. Oh God. Actually, wait. No, no, no. Before we go to before we go to Central Street, uh, we need to go to Station Square. That's right. We can't uh, forget. Mr. Yoshida over here. Hey, buddy. You're heading home tomorrow, I hear. It'll be a new start. You've got my blessing. Whatever that's worth. 
I recall the days when you helped me out with my speeches here. Yeah, that I have. Actually, in, in the terms of time, it has been like almost half a year? Uh, about? I think it was October the last time we saw him. It's been almost half a year since we last saw this guy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Kind of nostalgic, huh? Yes, I feel the same. But for now, we have more important things to do than reminisce. Both of us are taking our first steps on a new path. It's time we looked forward, not back. You expect farewells to be so sad, but here we are beaming. From now on, your life is your own to live. Now, I suppose I'd better send you off with a parting gift. Oh, hey, a pen. It's an incredibly expensive fountain pen I bought back when I'd strayed from the right path. Oh my god, well they do say the pen is mightier than the sword. Embarrassingly enough, I hardly used it. I hope you'll put it to better use than I did. Whatever new chapters you write with that pen, I'll be watching for them. Alright, I'll make sure to, uh, give you a good story. A good story of future chapters and a future filled with, uh, promise. Mr. Politician Man. Alright, we got a couple people over here we need to see. Ah, uh, hello there, Haru. Outside oh. the Big Bang Burger, I see. It's a little strange meeting here. And that reminds me, the new coffee shop venture is progressing toward opening its first location. Hey, that's good news. Actually, I'll be involved with its launch even while attending college. Huh, so you're going for your own dream, huh? Indeed. It's an early step, but nevertheless an important one. I can only imagine it'll be difficult. I'll have to balance my studies and managing the company. But it's all for the sake of making my dream come true. I swear I'll make this work. Yeah, By I have way, faith. I tried making something for you. Oh, you did? Oh, a handkerchief. I'd like to sell handcrafted goods at my cafe as well. So this is the first step in my practice. I want to live up to my grandfather's reputation after all. And my father's legacy. It has to be a comforting, welcoming place for everyone. Some place to spend your peaceful hours. Once it opens, we should all meet up there. Just like our days at LeBlanc. I will look forward to that, Haru. And trust that, you know, that will happen. Ah, the Ryuge! Hey, bud. Yo. Yo, what up? Man, spring break's supposed to be the most fun part of the year, but instead you're just moving away. Then again, so am I. I guess this is probably the last time we'll be meeting up here. <laughs> well, you know what? I'll come running here. Don't you worry, man. Man, do you even know how far that is? Well, I guess it depends on the starting point. Hold on, I'm faster. Maybe I should be the one running. Or we could start at the same time. Okay, I think you're losing the point here. So we'd, like, crash into each other somewhere in the middle of... Wait, what was the question? Oh my god. <laughs> Never change, man. Honestly, Never change. With the rehab, I don't know if my leg's ever going to be how it was before. But when I think about how much I want to run, well, I figure there's no point lying to myself. Nothing's guaranteed. I don't know if I'm going to get anywhere, but well, you could say that for any goal, right? I don't want to live stuck on regrets or shame. I, I'd rather just run and keep on running. All right. I can, I can agree with that. And hey, you better practice too. See, if we share our times, we can even compete from far away. Man, when I think about going to school without you guys, I don't know. I can't imagine it. It's nice feeling like I got a future worth looking forward to for once, though. And it's all thanks to you, man. Hey, I can't take all the credit, you know. Oh, Takikuma! Hey, man. Never thought I'd get this far playing legit. Maybe I didn't need the cheats after all. He's so focused on the game, he hasn't noticed me. Hey, look at him, though. We've, uh, we've changed that guy for the better. Holy shit, yeah, there's probably tons of people that we've, uh, that we've, that we've dealt with in terms of the, uh, Mementos requests. They're just sort of chilling around, talking to people. Like, uh, Akiyama. Oh, it's you. Mishima isn't with you today. Uh, no, we're not always together. <laughs> Makes sense. Well, could you relay my message to him? Tell him that I'll repay my debt to him. Can't let Mishima feel like a hero forever. Who is this guy anyway? Oh, is he the person you were talking about that one time? Sheesh, this is none of your business. Let's go. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh man, yeah, I should uh, I should stay on the lookout for these uh, these peeps. Oh hey, Lavenza. So you have come to say farewell. Of course I have. You were also one of my confidants. I have some words of reflection for you in this time of parting. This twisted, broken world sought to crush you, yet you salvaged it, and with your ideals stitched it whole. You were a true trickster of this modern age, a beloved champion of a burdened public. No, oh, no, thank you, thank you. I, I try my best. And a man of such great heights. Well, where will his path take him next, I wonder? Well, I can tell you it's going to take me right down this alley to the gun shop, but, uh, hey. Care to join me? No, I don't know about that. To accompany a trickster on so twisting and winding a path? I fear I'd soon be outpaced. I don't know about that. You could just make a dolly on everything. I have more than mere words to give you today, though. Oh? Allow me to grant you a parting gift. Not as the one who leads you, but simply as Lavenza. This is my blessing to you, to carry on your journey. <laughs> the Selkie. You were confined to your cell for so long. Now, at last, it seems only right that you bear its key. In the past, Guests of the Velvet Room have received their keys upon their very first visits. Oh, you know, that's actually a very good point. I didn't think about that. Yeah. <laughs> Makoto Yuki got his in P3. Yunarukami got his in P4 pretty much at the beginning. We didn't get ours till the end. However, I was unable to pass it on to you at that point. This is the least I can do for you now. With this key in hand, you will be able to break free of whatever trials may imprison you in the future. Though, of course, you have already chosen the path of true freedom. By inspiring others to take up arms and fight for their own beliefs, you may change the world itself. You walk the path of a true trickster. May it lead you to fortune beyond imagining. May it lead me there indeed. I'll never forget you, Lavenza. Ah, uh, Gun Daddy Y. How you doing? Yeah. I hear you're heading home tomorrow. Perfect. I got a story for you. Oh, do you now? Karu got accepted to high school. He'll be a Shujin Academy student in the spring. Hey, good for him. <laughs> that worries me. Now, he'll be in good hands. Thanks, man. Karu will be stoked when I tell him. He says he wants to become like you. I, maybe you don't want him to become like me exactly. Well, being a bro means someone will be following in your footsteps. I guess so. But I can't leave everything to you. I'm the parent here, so I gotta do my job. Oh, yeah, here. It's an EY family gecko. Take good care of it, okay? Oh, shit, a gecko pin. Having you around the place helped me realize times sure have changed. But I'm not going obsolete just yet. I still got more to learn, just like you. Looks like you got plenty of guys following your lead now. I'm real glad we met. Take care. I will. And, uh, Kaoru over here. Gamer-san, I'm glad I could see you. Dad told me today's your last day here, so I really needed to talk to you. Well, hey, what's wrong? Oh, sorry. I just had to tell you this in person. Starting this spring, I'll be a Shujin student. I know I said I admired the Phantom Thieves, but I think you're amazing too, Gamer-san. I want to be just like you. Figured I could start by going to the same school as you. Well, so you're my junior, huh? Thanks. Oh, shoot. I forgot I was in charge of dinner today. Sorry, I gotta go. Gotta catch a sale before it ends. Talk to you later. <laughs> oh god. Hey kid, with your uh, with your gumption, I think you'll do just fine. Just fine indeed. All right, let's. Uh, I don't think there's any more left in this area. Yeah, no. I think we are. We are indeed done. Let's go to a new spot. Let's go to the school next. To the school gate. We got probably a few peeps out here waiting for us, like a good old Kawakami. Yep. Oh, shit. Uh, we'd be all to talk about everything that happened here. Yeah, that's for sure. Oh. Hey, Teach. <laughs> what a coincidence. I'm about to give a lecture. Did you come to see the campus? You're going back home tomorrow, right? Make sure you keep up your studies there, okay? Yeah, I will, even without you there to give me my massage. <laughs> I'll work hard. You are preparing for your entrance exams, after all. Let me know if there's anything you need, okay? This is the last time we'll see each other for a while. You can at least look a little sad about it. I'm kidding. 
Honestly, seeing you so happy gives me peace of mind. Now that you're heading out into the world, I've got a present for you. An unlimited suit. Wait, what? It sounds like the setup to a joke. A student bumps into his teacher in a full French maid outfit. Well, I mean, it kind of was. But somehow, that opened up all kinds of new paths in my life. You taught me so much. You're not just my best student. You were a great master. I can make up for all oh, the boy. times I distanced myself from my students. I'll help anyone who needs it. The point is, I'll put in the work. I learned a lot from you, and I won't let that go to waste. I'm gonna hold you to that, Kawakami. Yep. Uh, we don't got anything to do over here? Do we have a... Ah, okay, she's at the platform. Gotcha, gotcha. Hello there, Mako-chan. Oh, what a coincidence. I was just getting some of my college enrollment papers ready. Soon enough, I'll be living on my own, too. <laughs> New beginnings for both of us, I suppose. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> you gonna miss me? A little. We've been seeing each other so often, after all. Oh my god, just a little! <laughs> my heart! Tis been wounded, Mako-chan! But once things calm down, we can all meet up again. Yeah, I guess that's true. My sister and I are actually going to look at my new place soon. A year ago, all this would have been unthinkable for me. But nobody told me to do this. It's a path I chose for myself. If I'd never met you and stayed a simple honor student, I never realized I had that choice. Oh, Bucci calculator. So, I want you to have this. It helped me learn to love studying. One day, I'll be a police commissioner. I know it won't be easy, but I also know I'll never give up. By giving this to you, I want to prove that. We fought back together, so it seems only fair you keep it. I want you to know that you're an irreplaceable comrade to me. Always have been, always will be. Thanks, Makoto. You too. All right. Well, that's done. Uh, let's stop over at the church next. We'll make a we'll make a round over here. Hello there, Hifumi. Oh, you came to visit. You're going home tomorrow, correct? That I am. To tell you the truth, I have an important shogi tournament tomorrow as well. Oh, hey, there you go. Uh, how confident are you? It's against someone I can't take lightly. Strangely, though, I don't feel as if I'll lose. If I do well, that will make it ten straight wins. I'll work hard so I can give you a good report. <laughs> please do. That's quite a smile. Like a knight standing victorious at the end of a grand siege. But I suppose a knight can't remain idle for too long. His presence is still needed elsewhere, I take it. If my shogi skills have truly helped such a dauntless champion, then it has been an honor and a pleasure. And it's been an honor to learn from a master such from as you. From one player to another, I have a parting gift for you. A kosha piece. The lance piece moves exclusively forward. Until it is promoted, it can only move onward, never back. So let us continue on our own paths, even if we have to part ways for now. One day, when the two of us lances have been promoted, we will retrace our steps and meet again. That we will. <laughs> kind of poetic, but I appreciate the sentiment. Oh, so you're the one who puffed and played Shogi with Togo-san. I used to play a match with her every once so often as well. She has become much more skilled since then. No doubt you had a hand in that. You may always seek sanctuary here, so please, open it for another game. <laughs> well, if I'm ever back in the city, I'll, uh... I'll try to do that, I suppose. Ah, Mishima, my good sir. Oh. What up, dude? So, you're finally heading home tomorrow, huh? I guess this means the Phantom Thieves have disbanded. My documentary script is going well, though. It's not really close to done, but it's coming along. All right, there you go. First in a trilogy, right? Wait, we're making this a series? I don't know if it'll be that big of a deal, but if I actually get this done, I guess it'd be a waste to stop at one. It makes me wonder how many people I can reach with my work. It's exciting, but kind of scary, too. It might be a bestseller, or it might just fade into obscurity. That's the risk you take, though. But I want to put my hope into this. It's a message from the old me to everyone in the world. So, even if I'm scared of failing, I'll face this head on. Just like you did with that first calling card. 
Oh yeah. It's still a pretty early draft, but a documentary plans. It'd mean a lot if you could read it sometime. I could really use your feedback. You probably had tons of crazy fights I don't even know about, right? So we should sit down and talk about them sometime. The more of it I get on record, the better. <laughs> well, I might have to redact quite a bit of what happened, but I'll do what I can. I'll make sure the story of the Phantom Thieves goes down in history. I'm sure you will. All right, well, I'll leave that to you, dude. Uh, the hell you want to spend? I say like this was a maid. You should rethink your life choices. Uh, call me master. Are you happy now? <laughs> You're gonna quit being a maid. I don't hate being a maid, but this isn't something I'm excited about doing, you know. You're the ones who taught me that we should all do what we really want. Thanks, you guys. Well, good for you, I think. Ah, uh, Lilina! Hello! I'm Star Lilina. I'm giving away free CDs. Please take one. Oh, Star Lilina's new CD. Wait, what? Thank you very much. Lily, Lily Nyan is so happy. I hope listening to my CD will make your day a little brighter. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? And that updated the Thieves' Den? Excuse me? What the hell did I just pick up? Uh, he's a trickster! Okay, did that actually, like, unlock, like, a soundtrack or something? I haven't even seen on the internet lately. So much to see on the internet, all those cat videos. Oh my god. I wonder what kind of Joker is gonna show up this year. Well, you guys missed the last one. Uh, excuse me, painted car? Mm. Parked here for a whole year. That's probably why so many people drew on it. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. You want to practice gun about before Shinya gets here? Aw, oh, it's Shinya's friends! Looks like they're getting along with Shinya just fine. I guess so. He's probably inside, though. There he is. Hey, dude! Hey, uh, you're moving tomorrow, right? Don't forget to practice at home. Hey, I'll do what I can. Provided we got the uh, same game there. <laughs> uh, we'll meet again, though. If you visit, you gotta call me, okay? We can play in person again. Or wait. Oh, man, if your hometown has an arcade, I could totally do an away match there. Oh, right. I returned the money. And he forgave me. We're friends now. And he's even playing Gunabout with me. He's still a total newbie. So I'm teaching him all the pro strats. Yeah, you you do that little MLG pro. Oh, but don't stress. It's not all boot camp this time. I'm going easier on him. Thanks for everything. You've helped me so much. I'm going to give you my secret weapon. No. Oh, gun controller. See? That's my strategy. I use this to practice at home. But these days, I'm kind of too busy helping mom or playing with my friends. At first, I thought you were kind of weird, but now, uh, you seem pretty cool. So, I'm still your teacher when it comes to games, but you're my teacher in real life. <laughs> well, hopefully I taught you something worthwhile. I don't know about that, though. Shinjuku next, my friends. God, this tour. Oh, Lovenz is here, too. Uh, what are we looking at? Hello? You doing okay there? Decriminalization in Shinjuku. It's about time to pull out of here. I wonder where I'll go next. Ha! Hey, screw you. Your business is defunct, man. Oh. Hey, Chihaya. It's exactly as the card said. You came to visit me. In your current state, you should be fine. Now, what do you mean? <laughs> You'll be fine, too. <laughs> well, if you're the one saying that, then it must be true. I've been receiving encouragement from my clients lately, even though I should be the one encouraging them. Strange, isn't it? I, I can kind of get how that happened, though. But perhaps that's the truest form of fortune telling there is. Mutually encouraging each other to find happiness in a world full of tangled, painful fates. The kind of comfort I've always hoped to provide in my readings. Here, this card represents your future. Please. Take it as a good luck charm. The fortune tarot card. An upright fortune card represents happiness to come. But it's an omen of doom when reversed. But I know you'll carry on with the same conviction you've always had. You are never one to fear the future. That's how you manage to bring joy to any fate. So, I'm sure we'll meet again. Though, that's not based on any augury. Just a personal wish. I wish the same thing. 
Good luck with your fortunes, Chihaya. And I think you'll need it, but good luck. Yeah, what's going on over here? Oh, Yokuda! You're Mifune-san's disciple. You're on your way to meet with her. We just met with her ourselves. I used to blame everything on fate, but now I've decided to take control of my own life. We owe it to the maiden, I mean Mifune-san, for opening our eyes. There are still times when we fail, of course. But now I can say with confidence that life really isn't all bad. Hey, good for you, man. We never learned who the Phantom Thieves were or what caused all the discord in Japan. I don't agree, at least very least, Shida will face judgment for what he's done. Now the thing that troubles me is that I've been asked to be part of Shido's legal team. Oh no! Oh, you on the you on the wrong side there, but that's just the thing. Uh, you, oh, honey. you still gotta you still gotta provide defense to people. Uh, what brings you here at a time like this? Hey, Lala Chan. Do you have ESP? I I mean I've got foresight. I'm surprised you knew where I was. Are you here to say goodbye? That I am. Wanted to thank you. That's my line. So, I'm close to being able to report on Kaio's case. Ever since all that stuff happened with Shido, the stories haven't stopped rolling in. But it looks like I can finally avenge her. And it's all thanks to your hard work. Here, it's a record of the struggles we shared. Ah, uh, the interview notes. By the way, I heard the Phantom Thieves are disbanding? It's gonna be so boring around here. Not every day you get to chase after a bunch of young revolutionaries like them. Hold on, though. I bet you got more tricks up your sleeve. You're going home, not turning over a new leaf. I'll be keeping an ear out for your next adventure, okay? I promise, I'll tell your story to the world. Well, as long as it's in a good light, I suppose. Hello there, Lala-chan. Oh. There's a fire in your eye now, boy. I have to say, it suits you. Come back anytime. Come back to this bar once you become an adult. I'll break out some of my finest drinks for you. Thanks, Lala. <laughs> uh, crossroads kind of was like a real set of crossroads. Oh, no Kichi Joji for me. Is that everybody? No, there's got to be more, right? I didn't even see uh, Kasumi yet or anything. Hmm. Well, I guess maybe that's. That's it, isn't it? There's nothing left. Is there anything here in Ueno? Oh, Gamaku, it's been a while. Oh, hey, just got a call from Kitagamakun. He said he's found a new theme he wishes to paint. A theme? Yes, he didn't give me the details, but I was able to pick up the gist of it. Something about friendship. <laughs> I'm so excited, I can hardly contain it. Rather unbecoming of a person of my age, I know, but still. I'm sure you understand, though. Whatever it is he comes up with, it's sure to be a masterpiece. I very much look forward to the day I can see it. I should say goodbye to Kawanami, then go elsewhere. Uh, sure? Oh, can we actually go to, like, other little areas? Oh, Seaside Park. What's over here? Oh, look at this! Mika-chan! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Right here. Sure, how's this? <laughs> You're what too kind. You of course I am. Like, I'm going to let myself lose to another certain dolt. Just you watch. I'm going to work my way up to the top. Uh, did you say something, Mika-chan? Uh, nothing at all. So opposed? Did you want me to do... Oh, Jesus Christ. She's still two-faced. Cool. Well, she's still uh, up to her same tricks. Is there anybody else? Nobody, nobody over here? Nobody over there? What is it? Meiji Shrine is really close to the station. I should go pray with someone next time I'm in Tokyo. This is where Inokashira Park is. I should bring someone there next time I'm in Tokyo. Oh man. N everything is next time I'm in Tokyo. Beach season's over now, though. God, that's sad. That is really sad. Is there really nothing in Kichi Joji? I would have thought uh, Kasumi would be over here somewhere. Yeah, there's like nothing going on. Oh, Shibusawa! You're gamers, Kun, right? I realize you may not be the best person to ask, but have you seen Monarchy lately? Uh, haven't heard a thing from him. No problem. The thing is, he stopped by to see me the other day. He's acting kind of strange, talking about taking responsibility for the things he's done. I don't know what he was going on about, but he's always been a pretty intense guy. Even back at school, he's always rushed into things without considering the trouble he could be getting into. 
But I'm guessing I don't need to tell you about that, that about him. Knowing him as well as you do and all. <laughs> Did he say anything else? Yeah, what surprised me the most was... Actually, I probably shouldn't mention it. Anyway, he does seem to be doing all right. For Maruki, at least. Who knows? Maybe he'll pop up again when you least expect it. He does crazy stuff like that all the time. Well, at least that basically confirms Maruki's okay. He's, he's alive. He's fine. Perhaps he's atoning for, you know, the things he's been doing, but he's good. Which makes me happy. Oh, hello. Hey, it's the jazz guy. What up, dude? Wait, you're friends with a catchy coon, right? Uh, yeah. I, I don't know, though. But I remember when the two of you came here last. It's rare to see him with another person. I haven't seen a catchy coon in a while. Kind of worried about him. Do me a favor. Next time you see him, tell him to come by again. But a catchy's already... There's something in my pocket. Wait, what? It's his glove. He promised me a rematch. My fight with him isn't over yet. Oh. Oh, damn. I want to insist, but you and a catchy coon can swing by any time. I'll let him know. All right. You're welcome anytime. His glove is still in my pocket. Maybe we will meet him again one day. Uh, why don't you show off your sense of style? I'm still just following the trends. Uh, there's nothing wrong with following trends. As long as you keep worrying about it. I have no idea what this conversation's about. I'm just looking for people. Oh, Takakura. You're Haru's. I see. The schools are all going on spring break. <laughs> Shouldn't you be at work then? <laughs> I just happen to know some of the cafes around here. I often take strolls in this area on my breaks. Everyone needs time to relax once in a while, both adults and children alike. Especially Haru. He does have a tendency to stretch herself too thin. I'd like to ask that you occasionally spend this kind of time with her. Unhurried with just the two of you. Well, we'll see. Yes, I'm sure you have a lot going on. Still, I'm counting on you to look after her. Well, we'll do what we can, but... Honestly, I think Haru's capable of looking after herself now at this point. I think we're... I think we're fine. Alright then. That is it. That is... That is pretty much everything. Let's go home. Oh. I've cast away my life as a film critic and discovered how I can truly shine for humanity. Sadly, you won't be able to talk to me like this much longer. Soon I shall embark on a journey. Uh... Where to? Where am I headed? To infinite possibilities. I shall roam the nation, visiting restaurants and using my refined palette to write online reviews. Uh, so you're not really changing. God damn it. Well, you oh boss. <laughs> sure. Give him give him a good glowing review. Yeah, let's do it. Are you really sure? I well, maybe not. Let's go. I, I thought we got everybody though. Well, granted, I don't think we actually looked around this area. Ooh, what was that? Hello? International restaurant? Hey. We didn't even eat here once. You're not a fan of spicy food. <laughs> what? Well, what do you expect from me, Mona? What do you expect from me? I'm looking, I'm looking for people here who might be interesting to talk to. What's Mr. Guinea Pig? Uh, hey, mister, why are you a guinea pig? Oh, God, I'm so sorry for my daughter's behavior. I... <laughs> Don't worry about it. Hello, I'm Mr. Guinea Pig. That's what the doctor said. Come on now, don't you remember that he's part of the reason why you're feeling better? Can't even imagine what would have happened if we didn't go to that clinic. I can't thank the two of you enough. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, I'm just glad we could be of uh, some service. All right, I think we're done now. Yes, we're done. Let's go home. I actually have a present for you, too. Oh! Oh, Mona's scarf! Even when I was human, I kept holding on to this for some reason. Between a cat, a human, or some kind of vehicle. It's been hard to say for sure who or what I am. But whatever else I am, I can say without a doubt, I'm your partner. Good. I wouldn't have it any other way. Well then, we should probably go home and get packed, huh? Yeah, I think so too. You finished saying your goodbyes? Yeah, I made the rounds. Well, how'd it go? 
Did it make you feel like you want to stay? <laughs> of course. I see. You must have made a lot of good memories here. You're leaving early tomorrow from Shibuya, right? Make sure you pack up before you head to sleep. Oh, and take that stupid cat with you. I don't want it getting lost and ending up back here. Hey, that was the plan all along, Coffee Dad. Don't make fun of me. I can go wherever I want all by myself. Huh, it really never stops meowing, huh? Hey, Futaba, what's he saying? Is he sad that he has to leave me? He said, Sojiro's stupid. What? <laughs> Translation is that? Let me have a nice goodbye. <laughs> uh, this is why Futaba's the eternal gremlin. Now. Leave Sojiro to me. Yeah, I trust you'll keep Coffee Dad in his place. <laughs> but wait, isn't it supposed to be the other way around? That's not true. I'll take really good care of him. Oh man. <laughs> Even if you're not here, I'll make sure I do my best. So. You go do your best, too. Of course, I will. Thank you for everything. Oh, man. This this dysfunctional, functional family. I'm going to miss it. All right. It's time. Hey. You got everything? Yeah, I think so. When I took you in, I thought I was the one helping you. But it turns out it was the other way around. Take care. All right. I'm free from my attic prison. Nah, I'll be lonely without you, Coffee Dad. Stop it. I'd rather hear that coming from a lady. Well, you got me, so deal with it. Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to have Futaba see you off, too. I haven't been able to find her since this morning, though. Oh? Same with that cat. If you end up back in the city, come on by. I'll at least treat you to a nice cup of coffee. Wait, that means I can't go closing this door, huh? What are you doing? Hurry up and go. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Yeah. All right. And that's it. Oh man, he looked at the he looked at the journal and shed a tear. <sighs> you know, this city's been Yo, a big thing to us. There. Oh, hey. What's up, guys? <laughs> after we said hmm? we'd disband. We are all on break after all. No more entrance exams. Mm. I can drive you to the station. You really, really gotta go? Uh. Shit. <laughs> They've even followed us here? What should we do? Uh, wait, what? What's going on? Need a hand? Hmm? Hmm? What? Dr. Maruki? What the? You're suggesting uh -huh. we split up? <laughs> Should we? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. I guess we're, uh, we're splitting up here. Here we go. Bye! Come and get us! <laughs> <laughs> Shall we then? <laughs> All right, I guess we shall. All right, Doc. Let's go on one last ride together. There's no charge. Oh? If you find yourself struggling in life, you can start over, like me. Remember that. So yeah. If that ends up saving you, then we're square. <sighs> I'll keep that in mind. Good luck. You too, Doc. Keep it real. 
<sighs> Damn, man. Those dudes just wouldn't give up. Wish it went smoother, but hmm? I guess this is it. Be sure to eat well. <laughs> we'll see you. Soon, right? If you don't come back, we'll find you there. Hmm? All right, it's mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Aw, gotta go already? We don't make the train schedule. Get you later, See guys. See you later, my dude! I'll text you, okay? Come on, sit down. Uh, what are they even... I don't even know what the hell's going on. They're trying to catch me? Why are we being chased? By who? I don't even remember. Oh, hey, Mona. Oh, wait, wait a minute. You taught me to keep my head up, didn't you? Sumi, my dear sweet Sumi. <laughs> Told you I was coming with you. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Take care. We'll see each other again. I'm sure of it. <laughs> and thus, that's the end. Now, oh, would you look at that? A new ending there, and uh, oh hey, oh hey, look at this! We're gonna get to see scenes of everybody kind of getting back to what they used to do or what their true dreams are. Ryuji and his running, on in her fashion, and probably looking into more uh, studying abroad. Oh, that's really cool. That is really really cool. I like this new kind of ending. I mean, the last one in, in Vanilla was them riding off into the sunset, you know, so to speak, and the adventure was only just beginning, right? This kind of feels like it's truly the end of a journey and everybody's moving on to the next stage of their lives. They're looking for an apartment, she's moving out, uh, and arguing with her sister, apparently. Oh god, but this was a journey. And thank you all so much for coming on this journey with me. I hope you guys had a good time just like I did playing this game. This is a really fantastic game. So I can clearly definitively state that Royal is the version of the game you should play. Anybody who has not played the original P5 should just play Royal. Because, I mean, well, first of all, I guess that's obvious. But it truly is the complete version of the game, and they typically do this sort of stuff. I kind of wish they would stop with the re-release that's expanded just like a, a few years later from the original game. It kind of... Eh, I don't know. I didn't mind it when I was younger, but as I'm getting older, it's, it's starting to kind of feel like a kind of kind of a schmeh <laughs> feeling to think like oh yeah i just bought this game and now uh oh two years later the uh the expanded version of the game came out which is now the new real version of the game and i don't know that's just me but honestly this game royal has just improved on almost every aspect of base vanilla p5 in pretty much every way Ooh, what is this music Ooh, hold on i hear sexy piano Oh! Oh, tickle my keys, whoever's playing this! Whoa! That is some good piano music. Nice! I like that. <laughs> oh, I very much like that. But anyway, as I was saying, yeah, this game is totally worth it. Especially to people who have not played the original. I cannot wholeheartedly recommend this game enough. There is enough new content in the game that it re it warrants a playthrough from from people who played the original again. Oh my! Whoa! Oh, that's Lynn, isn't it? Oh man, she just sent shivers. Ho ho ho! Shivers down down my spine. Holy crap! That is that is Christ right there. All right. Anyway, <laughs> I keep getting distracted. Yeah, this game is good. It's very good. I enjoyed playing it. Uh, the whole production of this series 
I decided to take it in a different direction compared to the original. And uh, I'll give you guys my reasoning for, for that thus far. So the original, I was in a different place with the channel back then. And I kind of figured Persona 5 would be my swan song. It would just be the last game I did on the channel because it was, I was kind of, I've been floundering for years. Things were down. Everything was kind of, kind of in the dumps. And then the original P5 came out and things just sort of exploded from there. Which I couldn't have predicted it would take off like that much. And I have all you guys to thank for that. So I, what I did back then was I would record hour-long episodes at a minimum and release two a day. And I don't know how I managed to keep that up for literally two months straight. I, I started when the game came out, like at the beginning of April, and finished in the beginning of June. It was crazy. It, it was not good for my health. It was not good for my, my mental well-being. Uh, GGK can attest to it. I was literally uh, frenzied recording. I'd be recording like about like four to five hours every single day just to try to keep up with videos. And it was, man, it was rough. I decided that for Royal, I would take things a little bit more slow and relaxed. And I think that really heightened my enjoyment of this experience more so by doing this because there were days where I'd record uh, for, you know, like three, four hours and have like a crap ton of videos. Like four hours of recording would get me at, you know, at most around eight videos, anywhere between six to eight, depending on how long I cut them. And that was far better than recording for four hours and only having like three to four videos. Like six to eight is, oh, it was just better for scheduling. But it gave me time to appreciate more. Give me time to actually kind of spend more time with the game, really kind of enjoy it. And I'm glad I did that for my own well-being and for all of you guys. And for the most part, we managed to keep a pretty consistent schedule of this game uh, as well, just like the original. I think in total amount of time over the last, what is it now, it's September? Yeah, we started this at the very end of March, so it's been half a year. In this entire half a year, I think I only missed maybe about like 10 days worth of uploads or so, which is very good for me, uh, for example, considering that episodes of Catherine, for example, have been super sparse at the time of recording this, <laughs> because this game has kind of taken up most of my time. Uh, well deserved though, well deserved. We'll get back to that uh, after this is, now that this is done. But again, I just am very happy I got to spend my time with this game and really kind of delve into more things in depth. I got to react to things you guys were saying more compared to before because I wasn't having to record so super far in advance or large chunks of gameplay. I got to actually react to some things that you guys were able to tell me in the comments and uh, on Twitter and the Discord and all that stuff. Though, uh, admittedly, I think you guys maybe got a little out of hand in certain aspects, but you know, it's just part of the experience. I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for the world. But yeah, this has been one hell of an experience. And I couldn't be happier. Persona, I think, will forever be one of my most favorite franchises in all of gaming. I can't wait to see what they do for Persona 6. I have heard that it's in development. They are, they're doing something with it already that we haven't heard anything yet. And the next big thing coming out, I believe, is going to be the Nocturne remake. And I've also been... <laughs> I've been rethinking of going back to some of my oldest Let's Plays and redoing them for, you know, updated information, better recording quality, better me, not 18, 19-year-old TMG. Now it's 28-year-old TMG looking back at his old videos and just kind of cringing at the way I sound. It's, it's so funny. There's... <laughs> the other day, um... <laughs> GGK happened to to pull up one of my oldest one of my oldest videos and just visibly like just shrink back into herself and just sort of scream when she heard my voice from the very beginning of the channel. I went through a lot of things in the first couple of years of the channel being up, like my tonsillectomy, uh, college starting, me having constant health issues because of school and because of my constant. Uh, stretching myself too thin, which ever since I graduated five years ago, I think I've been so much better about Like not even 
Not even kidding. I rarely get sick anymore. And even if I do, it lasts for like a day or two. In college, for those of you just joining, which is this this time, this is a time frame even before the original Persona 5 Let's Play. So more than three years ago, I would go for like weeks or a month or two of being sick, just like in a in a horrible state of health, sore throats, laryngitis, tonsillitis, you know, you name it, I would just be up the wall ill. And there's not much I could do about it. And because of my schooling and my degree, I had to make sure I saved my voice and stuff for school and stuff, which was kind of the priority, which mean, meant videos just like took a, had to take a much bigger back seat. And it's, it kind of sucked because I really love this. I love, I love making videos. I love, I love video games. I love this part of my life. I guess you could say this is my own will of rebellion, right? No. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this series with me enjoying this content i wouldn't be anywhere without you guys and i oh wait the oh. hello wait a fucking minute hmm. what What? <sighs> Finn, <laughs> just Finn. He's alive. Well then. Okay then, the 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 path chosen. All right, cool. Well, I catch he's alive. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Anyway, thank you all so much again for joining me on this journey. I mm, I I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been one hell of a playthrough. I hope you guys stick around to see things to come. Enjoy more content. Come to the streams. Check me out on Patreon. You know, uh, a dollar a month goes a long way. This channel has been demonetized for almost 10 years at this point from YouTube, blacklisted. The only way I make more content is from support uh, by you guys and all the support I'm internally grateful towards. But anyway, that is all from me. This is the Musical Gamer signing off. Have a good one, and I'll see you guys next Let's Play. Catch you guys then.